Hello there, Pokemon Masters, Berkey Toby here. What if you ran an evil team? Long time ago now, my good friend Mr. Buddy made a video. What if he was a Pokemon gym leader? And he asked us to create that same kind of video. And as Pokemon Sun and Moon were approaching, I decided to go, hey, what if I was a gym leader? In Sun and Moon, what would my gym be like? And I came up with this whole thing, this whole thing about sleepy Pokemon, Snorlax being my mascot and my icon of that. I had this gym that was like a lost wood. I was very proud of it and I recommend you watch that video. Of course, we then learned a little later on that gyms weren't happening in Sun and Moon. And so I did a follow up. What if I was a trial captain? What would my island trial be like? What would the totem Pokemon be? And then more recently, I took it a step further and decided to say, hey, what if I was the champion of a Pokemon league? What would my league look like? Who would the trainers be? What Pokemon would they use? What would be the theme? And each and every time I've done this, I've encouraged you to make video responses or to leave comments, detailed comments. Be creative. I love reading them. And with the videos, I love watching them. And today I'm gonna to take it another step forward by popular request. What if I had a Pokemon evil team? So I want to take a step back to that gym idea. Sleepy Pokemon. Well, why Snorlax? What's that all about? For those of you who don't know, I have an Instagram account called Bird Sleeper Toby. Due to just the nature of the way I work, as well as apparently, as it turns out, being very low in iron. Eat some more. Eat some more iron. I am a generally very sleepy person, and it's been known for me to nap publicly at events. I can nap pretty much anywhere, and Snorlax has always been my favorite Pokemon. Again, napping and food. What's there not to like? And so for my birthday that was recently, uh, one of you, a user by the name of Spooky, made this picture of me asleep on Snorlax. And I thought it was absolutely adorable, so much so that I bought Spooky on to com do commissions for this video, to do artwork of my evil team. Which continues around the same theme, of course. I am the incredibly evil and sinister Team Snooze. No, really, Team Snooze is terrifying. And actually, Team Snooze has some pretty evil motives. I want to take you through your adventure, whether you're in Johto or Kanto or whatever region you're in. How would your encounters with Team Snooze go? And your first encounter, I'd imagine, would be dealing with two grunts who are asleep on a pub. They're having a nap blocking your path somewhere, actually blocking a path for a whole town load of people, so they're being quite a nuisance. You are the brave person who decides to wake them up. The first thing you'll notice about the grunts is that they're wearing a Kigurumi, or onesie. And I absolutely love this design of them being in a Munchlax onesie. They look so cozy, they look like they could nap anywhere. And the Pokemon on their teams are things like Muna, Drowsy, Hoot Hoot, and of course, Munchlax. I also especially love how the girl design has a Chesto berry in her hair. The berry that wakes you up if you're asleep. Oh, and by the way, if I am the head of this evil organization, me, Bird Keeper Toby, but as a evil team leader, then who are the grunts? Well. You can enroll today. Seriously, you are the grunts. If you if you find my evil team motivations convincing enough, you can actually sign up, and I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description, and, and you can check all that out later. But let's get back to it. And the big thing, of course, is that the grunts like doing are having naps and watching YouTube videos. And these mass naps cause big nuisance in towns, and they distract from when some of their admins are actually stealing data on legendary Pokemon. And you remember my gym video? The gym based around sleeping and it had like a Lost Woods feel to it? Well, let's say that gym is actually in the game and you find me and you challenge me and you beat me. He is a gym leader, me. I will talk about how this Team Snooze just doesn't know how to nap and that they are evil and need to be stopped. And occasionally you'll bump into some of the admins made up of some Poketubers that you might already know. Of course, their outfits are based on the four Pokemon that will be at the heads of their team. Of course, their costumes are based off of Hypno, Marshana, Noctowl, and Kamala. And you'll encounter these admins heading up various operations, as I said earlier, trying to steal information on legendary Pokemon. Whatever region they're in, they're probably going to be trying to steal information from Professor Burnett. You might remember her as Kukri's wife from Sun and Moon, but she actually featured in the Dream Radar game. She studied the world of the Dream Zone, and this is information that the evil team want. They're also likely going to be taking on Cresselia. Just trying to scare Cresselia and get it out of the picture because Cresse Pokemon like Cresselia that can wake Pokemon up, well that's gonna stop them from achieving their master goals. And later on in the game, you're going to be led back to the gym that Bird Sleeper Toby was at. A new path will be unlocked in the Lost Woods and it will take you to an underground base. I always loved in Generation 1 how Giovanni's gym is really just a front for Team Rocket and I like the idea that literally there could be an evil team base under a gym. And check it out, we've got some music by Hoops and Hip Hop. So 
So you're battling grunts, you're dealing with admins, and at the end, the gym leader from the gym runs downstairs and goes, Oh my goodness, what is this place? Team Snooze must have set it up while I was napping. Cool. Blimey, I don't know what this place is about. De definitely don't know what this place is about. <laughs> you know, I heard Team Snooze have headed off to this certain island where they're after a legendary Pokemon. You, the trainer, should probably leave me alone and go and stop them. And so, of course, you, the hero, not questioning this, does go and stop Team Snooze. Of course, not before their admins capture Darkrai and take them to various places depending on the region. If it's Kanto, you're looking at the Pokemon Tower, Johto, the Goldenrod Tower, Hoenn, the Space Station, Sinnoh, Jubilife TV, uh, Unova, the Pokestar Studios, Kalos could be Lumios Tower, and Alola could be the Observatory. Depending on the region, any one of these places is going to be swarmed with Team Snooze grunts and admins. You, the hero, are gonna have to take them out left and right, defeating them. And also with these structures, it's quite common for evil teams to set up sleeping rooms where you can heal your Pokemon, and that makes so much sense with this evil team. Maybe this is the evil team that patented the idea. And at the very top of that structure, you're again going to find me. I'm fine. I'm safe. Oh no, I'll say. It looks like the team snooze boss got away again. Haha. <laughs> I think they went the other way. You, you should go now. Okay, look, you obviously don't believe me. And as I pull on my outfit, I say, prepare for trouble. No, I don't. That's copyrighted by Team Rocket. I'll finally reveal that I, of course, a gym leader that you've already defeated is the head of this evil team. I am the head of this evil organization, Team Snooze, and we have plans. We're going to use this structure to broadcast the power of Darkrai, to induce a dream state where we're going to incept, yes, I'm making that reference, the idea that the videos of Bird Sleeper Toby, the admins, the grunts, those are the videos on YouTube that you should be watching. Yes, this is Team Snooze's ultimate goal. However, due to your earlier encounter with Cresselia, you have brought with you a Lunar Wing that is going to suppress Darkrai's power. I say it only needs a minute to recharge, and in the meantime, I'm gonna battle Gyu into submission. Mimikyu, Noctowl, Hypno, Slacking, Gengar, and of course, Snorlax. This is the team that you are going to have to face, an evil version of this team. But of course, you're the hero of the story, and you will stop me. And in fact, you'll be able to battle Darkrai, and you'll either catch it or not. Maybe I'll defeat it and it'll fly back to wherever it came from and you can catch it again in the post game. But what's for certain is that Darkrai will turn on me and use its powers to send me, Bird Sleeper Toby, into a never ending sleep. And I know what you're thinking, that sounds pretty dark for Pokemon. Don't worry. There is going to be some post-game content where one of the Team Grunt admins, probably Noggin, and a few of the Grunts, this is the remnants of Team Snooze, they have gone to the place where Cresselia was. Cresselia, of course, has now returned, and in the post-game you're able to catch it. And they're over there causing mischief, so you, the hero, go and dispatch of a few Grunts, and finally, you battle Noggin. And that admin has some technology he's got to enter a dream world with you. There you have to do battle with his three legendary Pokemon, the Therion forms of Landorus, Thunderous, and Tornadus, which is a reference, of course, to the Dream Radar game. You defeat him and break him down, and he says, look, Team Snooze is pretty much done. The only reason he's here is because he would like to use Cresselia's power to wake up Bird Sleeper Toby. You catch Cresselia, and you help him do so. I, Bird Sleeper Toby, wake up, I see the error of my ways, and I go, oh, fly me. Team Snooze, we're now dispatched. Thank you, hero, you've made me see the light, and I'm so happy to finally be awake. Although, before I get on with my next adventure, I could probably do with a little nap. And speaking of that next adventure, maybe I should go be a trial captain or a league champion or something. That said, maybe Team Snooze will strike again, because you, like I said earlier, can become a Team Snooze grunt. Spooky, the absolutely fantastic artist who has done all the artwork that you've seen in this video, also created Team Snooze pin badges, which she is selling. They are part of the Team Snooze outfit, and I cannot tell you how cool it would be to see some of you at conventions wearing these pin badges. None of the profits go to me, they all go to her as an artist, I'm not taking any of that. And she has a store where she has lots of other similarly cool stuff, but I just, I just want to say thank you to her and her amazing work please check her out but also sign up to be a team snooze grunt i'm not done just yet there's one more thing i need to ask of you pokemon masters which is make a video response or of course make uh, a comment technically it's a tag video I, I don't have to tag anyone but i'm gonna tag Arizo, i'm gonna tag noggin and i'm gonna tag mr buddy this uh, whole series he is technically the original creator i'd love to see it go back to him of course i know he's busy at the moment so to all of you who want to make this as a video there is no time limit to this maybe make it as your first video so high pokemon masters a massive thank you to those of you who support me on Patreon every single month, and a special thank you to the big patrons of the month, Joey Powers and Elizabeth Collins. Thank you. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you 